Welcome everybody to this video cheat sheet of configuring an eBGP peer. First we're going to start off with some baseline show commands of show IP BGP and show IP BGP summary to see if we have any already pre-existing uh, adjacencies. Then we're going to do debug commands. We can do two debug IP BGP to your specific neighbor and what updates you're sending and then debug IP BGP events and then configure. We're going to configure an eBGP peer and then do some verification commands at the end to see what's different. So let's look at the network topology. We're going to configure an eBGP peer between router 2 and autonomous system 1 and router 1 and autonomous system 2. So let's go ahead and get started. On router 1, let's do a show IP BGP summary to see if we already have an adjacency and show IP BGP to see what prefixes we have. So we don't have a, an adjacency yet with our show IP BGP summary and with the show IP BGP we have the two prefixes that we originated with the network statements in the last video cheat sheet. I'm going to turn debugging IP BGP to the neighbor that we're going to bring up and then updates. I'm not going to do the debug IP BGP events because that will be extremely chatty. So I'm only going to do updates for that particular neighbor. And now I'm going to configure my eBGP neighbor. I'm going to use the network address of the directly connected link on router 2. There's a lot of reasons for that and that will be explained in detail in the configuration guide. I'm not going to go into it here, but we're on router 1. This is the link they share and I'm going to use the address at the other end of the link on router 2. This is what makes it an eBGP neighbor. Router 1 is in Autonomous System 2 and Router 2 is in Autonomous System 1. Therefore, Router 1 now knows I'm trying to bring up an eBGP neighbor because that is not in my Autonomous System. So we got that configured. I'm going to do a Show IP BGP Summary and show IP BGP to see if anything has changed. Now before when I did a show IP BGP summary I didn't have any output now I've got all kinds of output and that's all right here and the main thing I want you to, to notice is right here to this neighbor which is the neighbor that we which is router 2 the neighbor that we configured right here an autonomous system 1 right there. We haven't sent or received any messages yet because there's not a neighbor on the other side and it's actively trying to come up and the up down state is never. So let's go over to router 2 and once again we don't have anything from our, our, our debug output yet because nothing's going on between the two. So let's remedy that. Let's go over to router 2 and I do a show IP BGP summary and it doesn't have an adjacency with anybody and it has a network prefix of 22.22.22 .22 .22 that it is originating itself. So let's go ahead and bring up the adjacency between the two. Now once again here on router 2 I'm pointing the neighbor address to the other end of the link on router 1. It's a directly connected link it knows how to get there so it's just on the other side from router 2 which will be router 1 and once again this is what tells it that it is an eBGP adjacency because router 2 is an autonomous system 1 and router 1 is an autonomous system 2. So I've configured the neighbor on both sides of this link pointing to the IP address on the other side respectively do a show IP BGP summary. Once again there's the uh, the prefixes we still have. The adjacency has not come up and there we go. Our adjacency has now come up. So let's go back over to router 1. The adjacency came up. Here's some debug output where some updates were sent. So that is how you configure an eBGP peer. We did some baseline show commands. We did the debug IP BGP output so that we could see the updates. We configured an eBGP peer and then we did some verification show commands.